what I what I ended up doing um, for undergrad, I did my thesis on a budding young photographer named Stephen Shore, uh, who was about 40 years old at that time, and it was kind of unheard of to do a thesis in 1982 on a 40 year old artist. Um, and I persevered and I did it. Uh, got a lot of recognition with museums, and and I think that's one aspect of how I got involved with. Uh, curating in museums and, and discussing doing shows with uh, galleries. The core of what I'm interested in is evolution itself. And what I'm looking at is art that reflects uh, a way of seeing from the past how to uh, take the future forward. One thing I do kind of strive for or focus upon is, that, you know, I'm I'm looking very long term at what this all means. It is not simply about making a few million bucks a year. It's about carrying what we're handling, the ideas, the material, the collectors, and the collection as well, well into the future, both in terms of their aesthetic value, their political and social value, and of course their economic value. And I'm looking, you know, 50 years, 100 years, way after I'm gone. How do dealers find artists? It's largely, in my case, through other artists. Other artists have more impact on me than anyone else in terms of putting material in front of my eyes, saying, look at this, this is something I like. And one of the convenient ways that that's translated is you're already accustomed to this artist. You're already developed a relationship uh, with their visual vocabulary, and you can then take that and let it expand into someone else's work through their eyes. It's very helpful. Because art is not so easy to just digest quickly and, and formulate an opinion on. Even if you're passionate about something, there are many, many layers uh, to art that you really have to spend time and a great deal of energy to, to thoroughly get before you get to the point where you actually want to put it in your gallery and, and represent it. Galleries are businesses. They are not institutions set up for uh, you know, a, a receipt of some accolade. They are businesses with whom you're uh, a, essentially, in the sense of a vendor, you are selling a product through that vendor. Um, and there are necessities on each on the part of each uh, the artist and the gallery that alter in each situation and there are demands that are, that can and should be met by galleries that are different in each situation um, and uh, I would just caution artists to be aware of the fact that being open to all uh, ideas about how to work with a gallery is the most productive way to approach a gallery. The one thing about this business, and Tim Plum mentioned it yesterday at, uh, uh, on a TV show, is that this is an unregulated business. There are no rules. There is almost nothing that we are required to do, except for now there's a resale tax in the state of California. Other than that, there's very little regulation. and uh, whether that's good or bad, it is simply the reality, and uh, you should just be aware of that. I think uh, getting an MFA is a smart thing to get if you want to be involved in the art world, if you want to work in a gallery or a museum, or with a collection, with private collectors, even uh, just even as an art handler. An MFA is a smart thing to get because you understand the values of, of art, you understand how people relate to art, and you understand what your place is or what your place could be uh, professionally in the art world by getting that MFA and going getting that experience. Technical knowledge is important, and I'm, you know, to some degree, uh, MFA programs cover that, but. Uh, I, I really don't see the demand for it. There's some really great artists in the world who have never gotten MFAs, and I, I don't think it's an absolute necessity at all. Your careers as artists 
uh, need not be focused on the galleries. You know, there are artists out there who are enormously talented and whose uh, careers will never be represented in galleries. And I think that's okay. And, um, you know, don't feel that it is entirely necessary to validate your art by having a gallery represented. It's not necessarily a validation, and it's not a, not a validation to not have representation. So I, I, I think I just want to say that. I'm saying don't think that that's the only way to validate your art. It's, it's, it's really not. 